Welcome to part two of our successful recruitment secrets. I'm Sam Ashdown, this is another episode of Whiteboard Wednesdays. So in part one, we talked about the job title that you're recruiting for to make sure you're recruiting uh, and attracting candidates at the right kind of level. The next secret, uh, secret two, is to make sure that your recruitment process is robust. So we have three steps in our recruitment process. And we're going to share with you in this video number one and two. You have to wait for the next video to see number three. So number one, step one, is we ask them three questions. Now you can make these questions anything you, you like. What I have asked in the past is, describe yourself in three words, or tell us three words in which your friends might describe you. So then you get three strong words, and, and that gives you kind of an indication of the kind of person that you're dealing with. The second question we ask is sometimes, you know, why do you think you'd be a good fit? What attracts you to this role? It's something that's going to let them elaborate a little bit more, maybe write a sentence or a paragraph or two on exactly what is attracting them to the job. And they can sell themselves a little bit there. And then sometimes we ask them things like, what's the last book that you read? Or what's your attitude to self-development? Or what's the last thing that you did to develop your own learning? Uh, those kind of things. So that gives you an indication of how, what their attitude is to self-development, if that's important to your role. By the way, we don't ask for CVs and we don't take references. Obviously very controversial. It suits us to make our own decisions about what we think about that person that's in front of us. Yes, we sometimes get it wrong, but I think based on what we've just talked about today with this process, make sure the title's right, make sure the questions are right, I'd much rather take somebody on face value and then just see how that uh, pans out for us. And then step two of our recruitment process is we ask them to make a three minute video. We don't always ask them to do this. It depends on the role that we're recruiting for. If we're recruiting for office manager, we probably wouldn't do this. If we're recruiting for say sales and marketing or client executive, we definitely would. You can ask them to do anything you want in a three minute video. They can talk about themselves. They can talk about your marketing if you're taking them on for a marketing role. Uh, what I've just done with a recent hire of ours is we ask them to critique our website and social, which is very illuminating on two levels. One is it's nice to know what they're going to say about your social and your website in case there's any, any you know, big um, revelations come up or come out of that video. That's really helpful. But really the main reason is that they've done the video in the first place because most people will not get to that stage. You might have 20 uh, applications and maybe only five people make a video. So it's a very successful filtering process. And also, depending on where you are in the country, you might find that a lot of your candidates that apply are of a different nationality or English isn't their first language and you really want to hear that especially if they're going to have a client facing role you want to see what their English is like so you'll find a lot of people duck out at that stage which is absolutely great for us step three we're going to cover in the next video so I will see you on that in the meantime don't forget to go to Marketing Magic for Estate Agents on YouTube and Facebook so you never miss another Whiteboard Wednesday again bye for now